Hi everybody, thanks for coming into my kitchen today. I am making a very delicious chicken dish. It's very simple to make, not a lot of ingredients, and it's very showy. Um, it would be wonderful for one person or two people if you have a small, small household. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and we're at the stovetop and we're going to get started. So in my fry pan here, I have got this heating up and I have two chicken thighs and of course you know if you wanted to make more you know larger dinner you could if you wanted to you know, even get it smaller you could do that so I'm putting a little salt on there and a little pepper and a little bit of garlic powder just a little bit and then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. What I have here are, uh, the bone is in on these. This is chicken thighs. And you could very well uh, use boneless ones if As you I like. Said, I have my pan heating up nicely. And I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in that. Not a lot. And I am going to put those chicken breasts in there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to saute them till they're quite nicely browned on the one side and then I'll be turning them over and browning them on the other side and once these are ready to turn I will bring you back all right I am turning these now see that that is a beautiful golden brown I have there for the first side and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in I've got some nice onions here that the director sliced up for me. They're very nicely thin. This is about a half of an onion. And I'm going to get those in there and I should kind of snuggle a few under that chicken. So they have the chance to taste chickeny and the chicken gets a little oniony. And I now am going to turn this down just a little lower. I've got it on a little over medium high or a little over medium. I'm going to turn it down just past median and I'm going to let it sit here and saute until the onions are browning and then I'm also going to, I want to want to take a temperature of that chicken to make sure it's about 160 degrees. So once this is ready to go on to the next step and make sure that chicken is the right temperature, I'll bring you back. We are back and the chicken is cooked to 165 degrees and come on down and I'll show you where we're at. I took the onions out. They were getting a little too brown, I thought. So I'm going to take the chicken off right now because we're going to start making this lovely, very easy sauce. I'm first going to add a little bit of marsala to kind of deglaze that pan a little bit. And if you had white wine, that would work. Uh, maybe a little apple cider if you had that or or water or broth would work so in is going a little bit of uh, sour cream actually i think this is the uh this is the yogurt and this is uh some sour cream equal amounts of both and as i always do i will leave the uh, recipe and ingredients and the instructions all down below and then i'm going to add a little bit of a very grainy grainy mustard and a little bit of Dijon. And I'm looking here and I think that's all and I'm gonna put the onions back in. And I'm gonna get this sauce moving. I'm gonna turn my temperature up a little bit and just stir all, oh, it looks wonderful. And those onions really are beautifully browned. And I'm going to get this all combined and stirred together so it makes a nice sauce. And when I am ready to put that chicken back in, I will bring you back. All right, we are back and it's nice and bubbly. It's thinned out a little bit. So I'm going to now put my chicken thighs back in here. Just kind of roll them around in that good, good sauce. And I'm just gonna let them sit in here for a few minutes just to get, get hot through again. And after that, I'm going to plate this up and we are going to take a taste. I'll tell you what, this smells so darn good. I know it. Go ahead. Can't wait. Give us a try. This is a great 
a recipe. It, you know, if you live alone or you live as a twosome, um, make a wonderful, uh, easy dinner. And it's kind of special, isn't it? Just for, you know, for any occasion. Or if you wanted to have a group of people over, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to have a group of people wow. over, you know, you just multiply it on up and mm. you'll have a beautiful dinner for some that people. That is delicious. Oh good, I'm so that happy. That sauce is phenomenal. The, it feels, mm -hmm. the chicken is just cooked perfectly. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, here we go. Moist. Oh. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna try a little bit of the sauce on its own. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. Tender, juicy, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. lovely uh, mustard flavor. Oh yeah, you know if I'd change one thing about it, I might have done a few more onions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but boy, that's yeah, good. more onions would have been good. I'd eat the whole thing except this is dinner. Well, so. it was a delicious recipe to fix, and we are going to enjoy yeah. this dinner. Absolutely. I'll leave all the instructions and the ingredients down in the uh, description box, and I think the only thing I didn't do, I, I didn't mention was I turned that chicken halfway over back onto the original side just to kind of balance out that cooking. But that's it, you saw everything else. All right, I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you decide to subscribe and see other recipes that I do. And of course, this man and I do a signature glass of wine, hopefully every week, right? Yep. And, uh, and we, I guarantee you'll like this chicken. You're gonna love this chicken. All right, everybody, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.